Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Cosby here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. This is the fifth Wednesday of the month, which usually makes for a pretty small week, but as always, there's lots of great stuff to talk about. I'm usually saying that it's a big week for Batman, but this week, it's a big week for this gal. This is Wonder Woman Annual Number 1, the first annual of the Rebirth Universe stuff for Wonder Woman. You can read more about this one in our newsletter. This tells you uh, the origin of the Trinity. Good stuff there. Of course, her movie's coming out this Friday. We got Ladies' Night coming up for that. Got a couple of spots left if you act fast. The ticket to our Ladies' Night gets you a ticket to the movie and your choice of a pop figure or a uh, Her Greatest Battles trade paperback. Great stuff. We're huge Wonder Woman fans around here. I encourage all you guys to grab the first volume of this trade paperback and catch up to all the recent issues because that's been really great. And speaking of the Trinity, here's Trinity Annual Number One. Fifth Wednesdays usually give us a lot of Trinity, a lot of uh, one shots and annuals and sort of odds and ends stuff. But annuals are always fun. They're double sized one shots. This one's got Ra's al Ghul in it. Super cool stuff. Always great time to be a Wonder Woman fan. Teen Titans Special, or Teen Titans Annual Number 1, if you want to call it that. Rounds out your uh, Lazarus contract stuff that's been going on with uh, Titans and Teen Titans and Deathstroke. Good stuff there. And a new story arc for The Flash starts this week. Teaming up with good old Green Lantern there. Classic uh, Silver Age team up. That's about it for the DC guys. Very small week, but good stuff. Huge week for the Marvel guys. Let's talk a little Secret Empire number three. If you uh, haven't yet read Empire number two, you really need to get up on that. This is uh, about one of the hottest books in comics these days. The naysayers are uh, falling off fast because, as I always say, great story, great art. Can't do much better than that. Lots of other Secret Empire books this week, like Uprising number one. This is Black Widow gathering together a new team the young teams like Champions and some of those guys to take on uh, Steve Rogers and Hydra. Everybody loves Black Widow. Sam Wilson, Captain America, Doctor Strange, and Deadpool are all Secret Empire tie-ins. You don't necessarily have to read all this stuff, but if you're really enjoying the Secret Empire stuff and you're not following some of these other titles, you may want to grab them just to check out what's going on. Cable number one, because Cable definitely deserves his own title. I'm a big Cable fan, have been for a long time. One of my more favorite X characters, good to see him back in his own book. And Old Man Logan continues the past lives stuff. Also super red hot ever since the movie, but of course Logan doesn't really need any help in the popularity category. Generation X, second issue of the new title, rounds out your X stuff for the week. Spider-Gwen. It's about your only spider book this week. Starting a new story arc on that one. And Gwenpool. It's your other Gwen book of the week. Because you can't seem to get enough of that. Guardians of the Galaxy Mother Entropy number 5 is your last issue of this especially awesome mini by Alan Davis and Jim Starlin. Two of the great creators of all time. I pretty much pick up any book that has either of their names on it and certainly any book with both. And Gamora is your other Guardians book of the, of the week. Doesn't get much more popular than Guardians of the Galaxy these days. Occupy Avengers is your A-team book for the week. Lots of scrolls on there. Hulk, formerly known as She-Hulk, keeps rolling along. This book exploded since the first issue. Who knew there were so many Jennifer Walters fans? Good to see her in a title that's taken a little more seriously. Good stuff. Moon Knight. And Deadpool vs. Punisher, along with Thanos, come from the dark side of the Marvel Universe. This Thanos book has been really good. Uh, I would encourage you to check out some of the back issues of this. Uh, this one's number seven, but I'm all sold out of them, so you'd have to uh, go to another dimension to grab some of those or wait for the trade paperback. But this book has been awesome because, well, it has Thanos in it. And Star Wars Dr. Aphra rounds out your Marvel stuff. This continues the Screaming Citadel thing that's going on between this book and Star Wars proper. 
Can't say enough about what the great job Marvel's been doing with all that Star Wars stuff. And it's a great week for all the other guys, too. How about a triumvirate of Mignola? This is Lobster Johnson. This is Joe Gollum. Done with Christopher Golden, who's awesome. And this is The Visitor. Yes, three Mignola books this week. How awesome is that? Always encouraging you guys to get up on the Mike Mignola stuff. Creepy, cool, superhero, noir. Sort of a fusion of just about every genre out there, really. And Aliens, Dead Orbit. It's your other Dark Horse book of the week, because I'm always saying what a great job they do with Alien and Predator and Conan and pretty much everything else they do. And a great week for Image, too. Saga is probably your favorite Image book. Maybe it's tied with Walking Dead as your favorite Image book. Doesn't come all, out all that often, but when it does, it totally sells out. So Saga is out this week. Get down to your shop and pick it up. Monstrous is your other Image book. It's another one that sells out every single time it comes out. I sell multiple copies of the trade paperback every single week. If you aren't reading Monstrous, you need to pick up this latest issue and see what all the hubbub's about. Amazing art in this book. Great stuff. Black Science is my image book of the week because it's the only Fantastic Four book out there these days. And Sex Criminals is another one of your favorite image books. Kind of wacky, kind of out there. Obviously for mature readers, or immature readers, I guess you might say. And Kill or Be Killed is the last image book for the week. Again, super red hot. Can't say enough about the 1800 popular image titles these days. If you don't have an image book on your list, you're probably really missing out on something super cool. Vampirella is my dynamite book of the week because I love me some Vampirella and I love me some creepy clowns. There's also a Kiss special out this week, but I can't show you the Kiss book every week. That would make me seem biased. X-Files is my IDW book of the week because I love me some X-Files. Great stuff there. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2017 Annual is the Boom Studios Book of the Week because everybody's digging the Power Rangers these days. Can't say enough about how popular this comic is. Sure took me by surprise. I'm sure the uh, folks at Boom Studios are pleasantly surprised as well. Josie and the Pussycats is my Archie Book of the Week. Unless you're talking about the Archie Coloring Book. Really encouraging you guys to have uh, one of these many Archie titles on your list like Archie, Betty and Veronica, Reggie and Me, Jughead, Josie, Sabrina, Afterlife with Archie. These guys are on fire these days. Great stuff. Pretty small week for the All Ages. Steven Universe is your All Ages Book of the Week. And Donald Duck with the especially cool Funko Pop cover is my All Ages Book of the Week. So I'm always saying what a great job they're doing with this Disney stuff. Super fun to see the Disney guys in comics. Great stuff. So check that shipping list. Get down to your shop. Pick up something super awesome. I uh, want to mention that this weekend is Wonder Woman Day. Saturday, June 3rd is Wonder Woman Day. We got everything Wonder Woman 25% off. As you can see, I got my back wall all stocked up with some super awesome Wonder Woman-ness. We've got all kinds of new product and all kinds of merchandise uh, rolling in for the amazing Amazon. So make sure you get down here and take advantage of the sale. We're going to be giving out free stuff. We've just got all kinds of fun Wonder Woman stuff going on. So do not miss out. Get out and see the movie on Friday. Uh, get in here on Saturday and score all kinds of Wonder Woman stuff 25% off. That's all I got for you for this week. You can check us out at Facebook. Check us out at blackcatcomics.biz. Check out our cool YouTube channel. Check out our podcast at soundcloud.com or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.